ready. <sighs> now I'm ready. Oh yes, let's do this. Do it! Hello you, it is I, the guy mode. Sounds so stupid. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup, specifically the one I did for my Halloween costume, which is here. And I'm gonna dress up in the whole Halloween costume so you can see the final look. Just do it! So this is my box of hide my face, or makeup as it's also called. So what I tend to do is start with this. This is a primer, and I use this because I've got quite oily skin. This actually helps the makeup stick to my skin and not move around so much, so pretty good. This thing, it's a color corrector, and I'm gonna use this around this area here to hide the uh, remains of my stubble. Obviously I'm gonna shave this before I do this whole thing. I'll then go over that with some of this stuff. This is Maybelline Superstay, and I don't know much about makeup. It might not be so good in real life, but it works on camera, which is all I can ask for. So this is Maybelline Fit Me. It's a matte poreless foundation, 105. Once I've done the foundation, I then go from top to bottom. So we start with the eyebrows, then we'll do the eyes, and then the lips. So with the eyebrows, this is a brown satin eyebrow pencil thing. Once I've done the eyebrows, I'll go over with it. I have a lot of Maybelline products. I didn't even realize how much I'd got of Maybelline. This is Maybelline Over The Top Volume Express Mascara. After the mascara, we've got black eyeshadow, basic stuff. Once I've done the eyeshadow, I'll use some eyeliner. For the lips, I've got some Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And as far as makeup goes, that's pretty much all I use. Right, so I'm gonna go get shaved, I'm gonna go get cleaned up, and then I'll come back and we'll start doing the makeup. You might wanna trip on. I mean, trip in. Oh. See you then. Three hours later. Hello, I'm back. Nice and crisp and fresh. Nicely shaved, a close shave in fact. Right, first things first. Always the cat ears, always. I've just realised this mirror is not going to be high enough to do the makeup. It needs to be about here. I do have something to, <laughs> which is the right height. Uh, creating box. So if I put that there, that's pretty much the perfect height that I need it at. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? So glasses off. We'll get that on first. A couple of squirts on the fingers. Just dab it about. I'm 40 years old. So I do have like wrinkles there and if I don't use primer my foundation will build up in the wrinkles and that's not something you want. Next thing, colour corrector. Um, it's very important to use colour corrector to correct this shadow and you want to just apply it just to the top lip there around the bottom and then take your sponge. Uh, these are blending sponges and you just dab it downwards, basically. When you're using the sponge like this, you don't want to drag downwards or around the face. You just want to dab it, slightly pull it downwards as you let go of the skin. You might have some shadow there, but it's it, on, on camera, it doesn't really make any difference, so it doesn't really matter. Look how amazing I look. Why are you study? Can I show an advert? You know where you've been tangoed. Okay, you basically want to blend slightly up the face there. Not too far, just a little bit. A little bit more. So yeah, I do look weird now. This is where the powder comes in. And basically what you're doing here is you're going over the parts of the face where you've color corrected. But we are going to do the entire face. I am by no means an expert in applying makeup. I'll probably get a lot of comments telling me that I'm doing it completely wrong. I'm going to get rid of some of the powder with this brush. So, it's gonna move back so it doesn't go all over my desk. So what I'm done, doing here is just getting rid of any excess powder that hasn't stuck to my, my skin. I mean, it's not perfect. The important thing is, you can't really see my, well, you can still kind of see it, but it's not as bad as it was. Okay, next step, foundation. Dab it on where I want to apply it, and I'm just going to dab it around. And this is going to look a little bright um, because of the light that's coming on. Oh, hello. <laughs> and it's all about blending this. Let's be honest, makeup is basically you painting your face. You ever seen that film Face Off? It's a bit like that, only less dramatic. Face 
face! So, I'm looking a bit white, that's fine. It's, you know, it's whatever. The next thing I move on to is the eyebrows. Just very lightly. Try and follow the shape of the eyebrow when you're doing this. How's that look? I don't like really thick, bushy eyebrows. I quite like thin eyebrows. Um, and I don't like eyebrows that are sort of squared off in the middle. I think it looks really strange when women have, a, have thick eyebrows that are squared off in the middle. It looks odd. That's one eyebrow done. Just have to match it on the other side now. And that's difficult because I am left-handed. What you don't want to do is just force the pen into your face and drag. Meme! Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm gonna use the other side of this is like a it's like a spongy side and just dab the eyebrow and blend it all in. Use the brush to uh, just blend everything in a little better. Uh, next thing, mascara. My problem with doing my eyes is I have what's called hooded eyelids. If I rest my face, you can see there's like a hood. Do you see it? If I raise my eyebrows like that, you know, you can see the, the whole eye. It brings the skin down and it creates a hood over my eyelids. And that's what's called hooded eyelids. So it's not like... Oui. So next is the eyeshadow. I tend to quite like the gothy look. Okay, um, you just want to go up to where that crease is just at the top of the eye there. Because I've got hooded eyes, this doesn't have to be perfect. Because if I just relax my eye, you can't, you can't, I haven't even finished, you can't even tell. So I'm just gonna go for a slightly bigger brush and then I'm gonna just blend it a little bit. Now, it would be better <laughs> if I could actually see what I'm doing properly, but um, I'm not getting too much light into the mirror here, so I, I'm, I'm struggling to see. It's gonna be brighter on the camera. Don't push too hard on the brush when you're doing this. That's okay at a distance and that's all we need. So I'm okay with that. So now the bottom lid. So we've got a uh, black eyeliner. Drag it along the waterline. And I tend to open my mouth when I'm doing this. I don't know why. To finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna grab the uh, little brush again. And I'm just gonna brush in that bottom eye line. Since I've got cat ears on. It's not perfect, it'll do for my face. I don't think I do makeup well enough to go out in. The lips. It'll do. Next step, paper towel. Get rid of the excess. I don't look particularly great right now because I've got makeup on, no wig. I look more like Frankfurt, I don't know anything else. Don't get strung out by the way I look. Don't judge your book by its cover. Stop it. Get some help. Right, for me, that's pretty much the makeup done. I'm going to go and get changed. I'll put the wig on and we'll see what it looks like. A few moments later. Hi. Let's do some photos. Is that good? I don't know. That sounded stupid. I just can't do the girl voice. Okay, so this is the completed look. It's fine, I guess. So as you can see, I've got quite broad shoulders. If you get a top like this that covers most of the shoulders it won't look too bad so it makes my shoulders look less bulky if I just move back a bit there we go I'm carrying a little bit more fat after Christmas so <laughs> I will get rid of it as I always do it kind of happens it happens to us all but if you want a video on how I lose my body fats leave a comment in the comment section and I'll I'll do my best to answer it in a future video kind of girly kind of girly so this was my Halloween costume I went out looking like this as you can see the makeup looks better now because of the wig mm. 
So I do have these, some boots that I just randomly bought when I was in Nottingham once. I'll put them on, do some photos, see what it's like. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, please subscribe. I will see you on the next video. <laughs> oh my God, it's three o'clock in the morning. I should be asleep. <laughs>